Hello and welcome to day 7 of Technobot week, or Computron week if you will. So today we're going to show off the combination of Computron. Now I did state in my Scattershot video, or day 6, that I was going to, trans I was going to transform um, Scattershot into its torso mode, which that will happen. Um, now I did already, I already prepared the other guys in, into their um, official limb modes, so yeah. And, I did, and I, did, I did show these off in my previous videos. So, you know, these two and these two. Including these two as well. So, yeah. So we'll set these off to the side and we're going to focus on Scattershot real quick. So, let's get towards torso mode. So, open up the cavity. Or the chest cavity, rather. And fold the head in like that. Raise the arms up to the sky. Fold the fist back like that. And here you want to fold in the knee, the um, the heels, and fold in the feet. And then make sure you pull the panels out. And yeah, as you can tell, I actually lost one of these panels since they do pop off so easily. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just this certain panel just popped off, and I couldn't even find it. So, yeah. So, we'll still continue with that. So, go ahead and fold these in like this. And from here, we can actually fold these um, these panels out like that. And here, you want to grab this this bit right here and fold this up. And this reveals Computron's head. I'm going to fold off the antenna and slide this in. We'll push it in rather, but and fold up this red panel here. And you can see this actually covers up this the gap. The, um, the gap here. Because if this was folded down, there would have been like a big gaping hole. But this actually does help out, you know, fold that gap in, which is really nice. Pretty much the same thing with Silver Bolt. So, yeah. And there you have the torso of Computron. So now, let's get them combined. Okay, let's get these legs all attached right now. So, go and fold these wings in. And slide at light speed in. Or, well, light steed or light speed. Um, and nose cone in like that. Um, now, of course, now you have these left over. These after break, after breakers, um, pistols, blasters, whatever you want to call them. I would like to stick them to the side. That way, it look, makes them look bulky. I mean, that's I know it's not official, but it's just my personal preference. So, yeah. Okay, so we can go ahead and right pan the camera up a bit. Oh, there we go. And. All right. So we're going to put strafe in, and before we do that, we want to plug in scrounge and cybax that are combined together like that, and make sure it's angled at the right. Make sure it's at the right angle, and slide this in. There we go. And then for afterburner, or after after breaker or afterburner, or which way, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there we go, like that. And for the gun, make sure these are combined together, like that, and stick it into his hand. And there you have Computron. And I would say, this is actually a pretty decent looking combination. It's very reminiscent, reminiscent of the G1, this G1 counterpart, except for the, um, except for these two um, flashy colored... Um, um, robots up there, you know, scratching sidebacks. Um, but oh well, it's, it does make a nice, decent um, shoulder shield or something like that. But yeah, so yeah, it does look pretty nice. Um, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. I won't give Hasbro credit. Um, now the one problem I'm going to point out is the stability of this thing. This thing likes to lean forward. So yeah. And I'm not going to blame the hip joints for here, these um, these two hip joints, because they are ratcheted and they're pretty tight, which is nice. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, see, it was about to tumble on me, at, right at the camera, all right. Um, let me face, face it backward, all right. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm thinking it's just these joints right here, they're not, like, like, not tight enough. Or maybe it's just this, this, um, actually, whoa, okay, you better stay put. 
Okay, where I stay put. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just this little joint right here, because this this formed because of this has a joint right here. That's what's making this like unstable, or lean forward. I mean, and I'm not sure what's the cause of it. Maybe it's just these hip joints because of um how wobbly it is, but but it can be dealt with. Like yet, like 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 what I would do is that I would swap straight oh sorry i cover that with my finger <laughs> but i would actually recommend put strafe i would swap oh let's say i just, I just swap like nose cone and strafe you know limb wise because actually strafe makes a better leg than nose cone in my opinion so yeah which i'll show it off in a second and here we go this is how i this is actually my, per my preferred um combination it's just straight. It's just straight and nose comb, just swapped limbs. So yeah. <clears throat> and the question is, what can you do with straight and side backs? Well, what I would do is that I would put um, scrounge on, on the same peg like this. And with side backs, now you can't actually leave it like this, but it does look rather um, silly, I should say. But. <clears throat> So what I would do is I'd just fold this little peg out, and then I can see there's a hole up there. Or actually, there's a there's actually two holes right here. There's one here and one the one up there where my thumb it. Oh. Got to paint the camera up. You can see there's actually one up there where the cockpit is. So, <clears throat> so I was like, do I was like to peg this? Um, I like to peg side backs up there, and. One thing surprising that surprised me when I first did this, it did give enough clearance for the wing for Cybax's um wings. And you see it gives enough room, which is actually surprising. So I'm guessing Hasbro was aware of, you know, us of anyone attaching, you know, Cybax to nose cone as an arm. Which that's kind of surprising. So yeah. So so yeah, that's pretty much my preference for Copytron. So overall, I do recommend this gift set, and I actually bought this from Amazon. Um, so it's actually an online store exclusive. So yeah, um, it's just a stability issue that that can be dealt with. You know, to swap some limbs here and there. You know, whatever is your preference. You could stick with the the, the G1 or this version that I, that. A lot of people came up with, but a lot of collectors like myself came up with, so. So, uh, yeah. So, I could totally recommend this. So, the next Combiner Wars week I'm going to do is Victorion, which is also an online store exclusive um, gift set. So, I guess I'm going to call it Torchbearer Week. So, I'm assuming it's what they're called, or the Rust Renegades or something like that. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, I haven't read the comics that... I mean, there were comics related to, you know, that team that I just mentioned, Victorion. I'm not sure called the Torchbearers or the Rust Renegades. I'm pretty sure, it's, I'm pretty sure they're called Rust Renegades, but... Okay. So, so if you enjoyed this, uh, this week of reviews, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Oh, don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and... Like my, like my Facebook page down below, and there's 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 links for that. But so I will catch you next time. Take care.